with Gentry Boxers and the Dog Breeder Store. Today I want to show you how to make something that I call immunity formula. This is basically the stage between when you are going, uh, you're feeding your baby strictly formula, which might be something like uh, raw goat milk or puppy back. This is my favorite if I can't find raw goat milk. But so we would start with that and I'm going to show you how to add some things into it that can beef up a puppy's immune system and um, their microbiome and add some calories into their uh, formula. So this is kind of an intermediate formula between straight uh, either raw goat milk or puppy back and then the, the mush that we feed later on. I do have a video on how to make immunity blend. Now I'm a raw feeder, so I'm gonna be adding things in here that come from my raw feeding supplies. And if you have them, great. If you don't, that's okay too. Just pick and choose a few things in here especially the probiotics that are going to help you to beef up your puppy's immune system. So you're going to find this recipe at the dog breeder store in the article section. And I'm, I'm not going to make you listen to me putting everything in, but the, um, you're going to see that I'm adding things in like eggs. Everything I possibly can is organic. So there are going to be four egg yolks in this. I'm doubling this particular recipe. There's going to be organic mayonnaise in it. There's also going to be puppy back as my base. I'm going to be putting things like fulvic acid and um, a little bit of a, a glucose um, supply. Yeah, I, like, I like to use maple syrup, organic maple syrup. I'm not a big fan of caro syrup because it has GMO corn in it, but that's what I use. We're also going to be putting organic um, yogurt into it, just plain old yogurt. It's not flavored. And um, the cool things that come into it from the raw feeding world are, this is actually um, raw organ juices that I decant off of my liver, spleens, kidneys, things like that when we're doing our blends for our puppies. And there's also some, some blood from the uh, hearts that we buy. So there's about, um, there's gonna be about a third of a cup in that, of that in the original recipe. I'm gonna add a little bit of Ninja Red into it for micronutrients and what am I missing? Some mushrooms. So I love putting mushrooms into my puppy's formula so that they have an immune system booster. And there's also colostrum in here. Most of this stuff is available in the dog breeder store and I'm gonna um, stop for a second and then I'm gonna put everything in here and blend this up. So I've blended up all the ingredients and keep in mind that this is just a, a kind of a second phase of formula and um, what we're trying to do is beef up the puppy's microbiomes and add some micronutrients into it and when you're done with the blending you're going to have a lot of bubbles at the top so you're going to want to pull the um, stirring thing out and you want to scrape these bubbles off the top because you don't want to be feeding those to babies. So we're going to get rid of those. And while I'm doing this, I do want to explain that if you have puppies that are really struggling, you can also purchase this particular product from the dog breeder store. This is an adjunct to puppy back, which is the formula that we like. I like puppy back because it is um, all natural. Some of the formulas that are out there are full of synthetics, and this one is not. And this is an add-on to the, the formula called puppy back, or you can add this into raw goat milk so that if you have a puppy that's struggling, it's just simple to add that in. This is something that we're gonna use in between regular formula and the mush, or in my case, I call it immunity blend before I move on to raw diet. So we've gotten rid of that. And your, your mixture is gonna look kind of pink because it does have some of the raw meat juices in it. And you can either pour this into um, ice cube trays if you're gonna feed it in small amounts, 
or you can just pour it into a container and you can freeze it. Um, it's probably good for at least six months in your freezer. So uh, do look for the recipe uh, underneath this video and also in the article section at the dog breeder store. And thank you for watching.